Hey, VW Bruce here. Today we're going to do compression tests. Compression tests will tell you uh, how the top end of your motor is doing. Valves, valve guides, pistons, pistons, rings. Here's our tool layout for today, what we're going to use. The main tool, compression gauge. You can find these almost any auto parts store. I don't have an adapter. So, you know, nice compression gauge. Uh, we're going to be pulling the plugs out today. So we have our ratchet, our spark plug socket with the rubber insert. You can buy those in any tool store. And some extensions that you may need or may not need depending on your application. Whether it's a pancake or an upright, a bus, bug, type 3, those kinds of things. You may not even need an extension. Hi Bootsy. What do we need to do before the compression test? Well, what we need to do, we have to have our engines up to operating temperature. So I would suggest maybe going to the market, short air and maybe get some gas, run it for five or 10 minutes, getting it up to temperature. And what we want to do, we want to be able to crank the engine, but we don't want to start it. So to do that, we're going to remove our green wire, that's the primary lead from the distributor to the coil. So we simply disconnect it, set it aside there, now you can crank all day long and the engine won't start. But we are ready to start our compression test. Okay, so here's my little spin spin disc. And okay, we just pull the rest of the way out. And there's another nice plug. It looks like it's brand new. Pretty nice. And we're gonna mark this one. This plug is plug number two. We'll lay that right next to number one. And we'll do this with three and four. All your plugs will be pulled out. This could be a brand new short block. It does have case savers. Okay. And we got number three here. We're going to mark that. This is usually the suspect one in the old days. Oh, that's looking real nice. Again, brand new plugs. NGK. Okay, they're acceptable. And we'll mark this one. Number one, number two, number three. They'll lay that next to his buddies. Yeah, I can. On to number four. On to number four. And we take out number four. And it too is looking really good. So we'll mark it. One, two. Three and four. Okay, so the ignition switch is in the on position there, and our brake is set, and our tranny's in neutral. So, we're ready to crank it and compress it. <laughs> okay, so our compression number one looks like about 125, maybe? Yeah, that's what it looks oh, like. Nice. There. So, there we go, that's number one. And what we're going to do, come over here on the old garage piece of cardboard. Number one, 125. Okay, now I'll pull this out and we'll stick it into number two and try that one. Okay. And it looks like we got 120. Woohoo! Yes, we do. Number two. One twenty. Next is number three. The key 
key is you want to stay within about 10 to 15 pounds of each other, no matter what these numbers are. I mean, the numbers themselves mean something, yes, but a big deal, the big deal of the day is the difference in the numbers. So say we got a 125, 120, 125, that's running beautifully, and our pl plugs are showing at the boot, so we got to double check on that. <laughs> um, but say if this was 125 and this was only like 40, oh, that ain't, that's no bueno, and this was back up to 100. No, you really got, because now you got 25 different stair, you got 80 different stair. I mean, you're really talking a top-end rebuild. And there we go for that. Yeah. Looks like we got about, about 135, 130 maybe. Yeah, about 135. We go. That ends the compression test, the actual test. Write this down here. Number four was about 135. So what do we got? We got 10 pound. We got 15 pound. That's max. Wouldn't want any more. So we're good. We are good. Good to go. Yeah. Happy Farfrick Nugan. Meet me. Meet me. Meet me.